How's it going guys? Lenny HD here. Um, so today I'm going to make a video on how to disable Cortana permanently for good in Windows 10. Um, now you might have tried going in here in your task manager and hitting end task and she'll go away for a little bit but she comes right back and you might say okay let's try it again end task and she comes back we'll even do it one more time end task and guess what she's going to come back and she's going to eat up your memory for no reason at all so there's a way to completely disable this. Now what you're going to do is right click and go to open file location. Move to your task manager over there. Kind of put them side by side. Now find Cortana, the file. Go to rename. And what I do is I'm just going to put dot BAK B -A -K in case I want to, for some reason, which I don't know why, if there ever would be, I'd want to enable it again right then exit out and you're going to get a prompt that says this actually can't be completed because the file is open another program all right so now what you're going to do here and you might have to try it a few times you're going to want to go to end task and as soon as you hit end task you want to go you're going to want to hit try again so let's see if we can do it end task try again and if you do it right she won't come back and she won't eat up all of your memory so there you go she's not coming back We'll even wait a second to make sure. So yeah, that's how you do it. And this will be a very quick video, but a very important video because I've been trying and looking for ways on how to get rid of her for a long time because it is, she is a complete waste of memory. And it is absurd that Windows does not let you just simply end task windows keeps letting her come back and come back and come back so anyways as you can see she's gone gone for good and if you ever wanted to bring her back which like i said i don't know why just take the dot bak off and you'll have her back eating up all your memory so that's going to be the video for today i wanted to do a short one because i had some crazy computer problems today with my system 32 boot folder boot files which luckily we got resolved but um thanks for watching like if this video helped you out leave comments and if you guys got any video requests let me know all right thanks for watching